Hi there, my name is Teresa Kaiser and today I'm going to show you how to map your domain on the new Kalatu blog. This is the new domain mapping method, effective December 18th, 2014. So when you log into your GoDaddy account, um, and this pretty much works the same way with other providers as well, but if you get stuck, you can always ask you know, for them to provide some sort of support for you. And oftentimes they will actually just do that for you. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and hit launch once you logged into your GoDaddy account, right here. And then you'll see all of your domain names and you just wanna pick the one, um, and I have uh, quite a few here. You can tell you're an internet marketer, okay? And then you'll just uh, click on the one that you wanna work with. And then you'll see in here, there's forwarding, okay? So what you're gonna actually do is you're gonna forward that. So you're gonna forward that here, and you're gonna actually forward it to yourself. I know that sounds really strange. Trust me, it will work. Simply because you're gonna have to put a www in front of it. So you're gonna hit manage right here. And then you'll come up with this screen, and we're not forwarding it right now. So we're gonna add one now, all right? And you're, what you're gonna do is forward it to your own domain name, but you're gonna put www in here, just like this. All right. And you will leave this with 301 permit because we always want it permanent, okay? And uh, Google likes it better when you tell it it's permanent because it's always gonna be happening. This is your Kalatu blog. You're not gonna make it go away, I'm assuming. And uh, we're just gonna choose forward only and update the name servers, leave that checked. And I just want you to hit add, voila, just like that. And I want you to keep in mind, you must have the www here in front of your domain name must all right in order for this to work plain and simple do not forget the www now what you're going to do is you're going to actually hit save if you don't hit save the changes are not going to save for you and then you'll be very frustrated and wonder why now you'll notice as soon as you hit save you don't see anything here you're like oh what happened but what you need to do is actually refresh your page. Okay, so you just want to refresh up here so that it all shows up. See, there you go. Now it's being forward and it's forward only. And then we have some other steps here. So what I want you to do now actually is click on DNS zone file right here. And that's gonna load. Now you're gonna go down all the way and before I do this, I want to mention one thing. If when Kalatu came out the very first time, if you remember this section right here, um, it had host records and so forth. Um, Bea and I just uh, forwarded it. This, that's in here now, but you had three IP addresses in here before with the very first method of uh, domain mapping. Get rid of those. And then when you put the forwarding in, you'll see something in here again. Um, that's fine. So just keep that in mind. So you just hit the little trash can here if you have a bunch of IP addresses in here because that was the old way of mapping your domain name. If you don't do this, it's not going to work. It's going to flunk. It's going to make a mess and you'll just be mad at yourself. So delete, delete, delete before you start forwarding your domain. All right. So we're going to go down here and I want you to take a look at your C name. Okay. And see, it says uh, www right here. We're going to be working with this section. Take a minute and find it. Pause the video if you need to. All right, so on the ENV2 blog, you had a domain name pointed to a C name alias. So in here, it probably says something, um, you know, like empower or something like that. If you have anything listed in here, go ahead and delete that. So let me show you an example here on one of my other domains because I have an ENV2 blog and then I just took a new domain and put it on my on my Kalatu blog. So let's uh, pause this and just show you that real quick. So for example, if some of you are using the domain from your uh, Empower Network uh, you know, ENV2 blog before, uh, prior to Kalatu, you'll see something in here like this, okay? So you wanna actually take that out. All right. So I'm going to go back to, um, I'm going to leave this here because I'm still using the MV2 blog as well. 
But let's go back to our co-op two blog domain mapping now. And on a special note, when you delete things from the www right in here, like if you, if there is something listed in here, after you hit delete, make sure when the red pop-up comes up in this area, you hit save changes. If you don't, you will have a mess. So make sure that you hit the red button that pops up here that says save changes. You don't see one here because I didn't have to delete anything, all right? So next step is you're going to hit this little edit record here in the www row under the CNAME alias section. And you'll see here where it says www and where it says points to. And I want you to click in this box where it says point to and get rid of that little A. You're going to type in here kalatublog.com and you're going to hit finish just like that. Now see this? There's a little red bar here. If you do not hit save, you're going to be mad at yourself. So hit save changes and notice up here it says it may take up to 48 hours. So don't expect it to happen immediately. Now the next thing that you're going to do here is you're going to type in your domain name. So you're going to type in www. You have to put www in front of here. It's not an option. And hit map domain. Sometimes this happens instantly. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, and this, now we have it done with a C name. Now I want you to refresh your page here. Okay. And we're going to go over and get um, some reCAPTCHA keys for um, so that this helps control your spam comments. So we'll go grab that now. You're just going to click right here. And then you're going to be taken to the reCAPTCHA page. Now you can call this whatever you want. Um, you're the one that sees this just so you know what you're looking for. You can have more than one site, but I'm going to put this in here so that I know it's for that site. And then you're going to put in here, you're going to put www.tk. Okay, and then just register. That's going to give you CAPTCHA keys, okay? So you'll cap, you'll copy your site key and your secret key, and you'll go back over to your blog and paste those in there. Once you have both of those in there, the site key and the secret key, which are over here, these two things, you'll just hit save. And if you have done it correctly, it'll say you have successfully updated your recaptcha keys. And also keep checking for this to say valid. Now, as you notice, this was pretty fast. I mean, during our training today, um, this happened almost instantly. I mean, it won't always, but you know, keep checking this for up to 24 hours. It may depend on you know your internet provider. Or, you know, who knows how to figure this stuff out? Sometimes it's instant, sometimes it's not. So uh, that continues our training for today. Make sure that you visit my blog for tknetmarketing.com. Uh, for more tips and tricks on all the techie stuff that you wish you knew that you'd like to learn.